The Architectural Technology course has been at UCLan now for about eight years and it's accredited by the CIAT, which is the Chartered Institute of Architectural Technologists, and the CIOB. The architecture is very much the art side of building, whereas the Architectural Technology course focuses on the science of architecture. So how do we heat buildings? How do we get light into buildings? How do we actually just build a building? How do we prepare a site for buildings to happen? So the architectural technologist is the person who translates the ideas from the architects, so the concepts that they come up with, translates them into a form that someone on site can actually build. So produces the drawings, writes the specifications, and can actually make sure that what the architect's vision was actually gets built. We're very practical. We like to encourage the students to get their hands dirty. So they have lectures, but they also spend a lot of time in the workshops. The studio is really important to the way that we teach. The students use it as a common room almost. So it's their default position. They go in there in the morning, there's little lockers where they can leave their stuff, and then they go off to class. And it means that they sort of get to know one another, and they get to know the other years as well because the studio works for all three years and they also then get to meet the part-time students as well. There are a lot of things that happen sort of within the studio so not only the sort of academic side of things we have CPD events for the CIAT region so we get professionals who come in sort of at the end of the day and have their CPD events. We've had alumni events in there, we've had workshops for the UCLan master plan so it's a very flexible and adaptable space and we're really enthusiastic about it. They're also now at the forefront as well of some Something called BIM, which is building information modelling. So it's this idea that before you even go out onto site, you have designed your whole building in a three-dimensional model on computers. The government has said by 2016 that all their projects have to be BIM projects. And the government are really leading on this. They really see it as sort of a cutting edge, which will make not only the UK construction industry sort of much more effective, but actually will be something that can be exported as well. And it is the architectural technologists who are best placed to actually deliver that within the practices. We spend one whole day a year where we invite graduates, successful graduates from the course to come back and speak to the third year students about where they are now and how they got there. So what it's like to be an architectural technologist, where they're working, how they got the jobs and how they have implemented what they learned. One of the main advantages of the course I found was its flexibility. I did the course two years full time one year out in industry. Um, no matter what stage you're studying at, um, year one, two or three, experience in an architectural practice is like crucial. Why at university just learn everything about as many softwares that are offered to you? Your ability to design, to manage, to, to communicate, that's paramount. Going into industry and maybe knowing more about Revit kind of gives you an advantage. All of the knowledge is here for the taking. If you can teach people who've been in industry 10, 15, 20 years something, they're going to remember you. To so have that on your CV, it just shows your proactiveness and you're willing to learn. I wouldn't have done as well as I did without having that experience. So flexibility is a massive, massive uh, plus point for the course. We've worked very closely with a number of practices, both locally and nationally and we find that it, it's invaluable for the students experience that they can see where they're going to go that they can see sort of the kind of environments that they're going to work with and to have those practitioners coming in to do reviews with the students to talk to the students when we have alumni events or the CIAT progression the things that they really understand sort of where they're going and what an architectural technologist actually is in practice.